Okay, this is the last geometry question. I just thought maybe it'll be a little challenging. I don't know. It kind of was for me. I had to think pretty hard. So let's just try 10.1. They give us all this information. They tell us a lot of things about these lines being parallel, about this angle P1 equaling R2 up here. I called it X just to keep it straight in my mind. They tell us that this is a tangent line too. They tell us that KP is tangent to the circle at P. They tell us that SP, RQ, you know, those points are, are part of the circumference of the circle, a cyclic quad. And they tell us that these lines that get produced and they cross at these points and they labeled all these angles in the picture. So that's basically the story, but you should read it really carefully. They ask you to prove that S1 is equal to this angle T2. And I did it. Um, I had to do, you know, I, well, I'll, actually I can go through the reasoning the way I did it. I went, okay, right off the top, I know that this P1 is equal to this R2, but I know that this is um, the angle between a tangent and a chord, so that Q1 must equal um, P1, and that's that's right off the bat, tan chord there, and you know I'm going to need that somehow because I'm getting at this angle T2 there. You also know that P1 and R2 are equal to each other, and I've called them all X because it's given. Now, we know that T2 is equal to Q2 plus X because it's the exterior angle of the triangle TRQ. Why I care about those two coming together is because S1 is the exterior angle of the cyclic quad. S1 equals Q2 plus Q1 plus this little X, Q1. Well, if T2 equals that because of the exterior angle of a triangle and S1 equals Q2 plus X because of the exterior angle of a cyclic quad, then they have to be equal to each other. Now, I'll tell you, it took me a little bit longer than that. I kind of knew that the tan chord theorem would have to be part of it. And I, I wrote it down. I sketched these things in angles that I knew were the same. And then I went, oh, S1, exterior angle of a cyclic quad. And then I use this one that's really good, T2. What is it? It's the exterior angle of this triangle here. And that's how I put it all together. But it wasn't all that easy, but that's how I did it. Okay.